Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 9th, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. Kim and I started out the morning at the Firehouse Woods. We had 29 species with the main highlight being a red-headed woodpecker and I later heard that there were actually two red-headed woodpeckers in there. Next, we hiked the Lakeview Church Trail and here's a view of the marsh from there. The highlight was a male scarlet tanager perched up and singing, and it seemed like everyone else had been getting this bird, and we finally tracked it down with our first of the season. Here's a thrush that's a reddish-brown color and really has no markings at all here on the upper breast. This is a viri. Here we have a very striking warbler with a yellow throat and breast with some black streaking, some black through the eye, then some white, then gray on top, and a nice white patch here on the wing. This is an adult male magnolia warbler. Here's another look at a viri, and in this photo with the light hitting it, you get a better sense of that color. It's a little more red than a lot of the other thrushes that we see, which are more of a deep brown color. We had 51 species, including 14 species of warblers. Next, I headed to Braddock Bay Park, where I worked with the songbirds for a little bit on a nice sunny morning. Kim briefly covered the hawk watch for me while I ran to Badge Row Park where a local birder had found a white-eyed vireo, which is a species that Kim and I saw a lot in Delaware last summer, but it's pretty rare up here and it was the first for Monroe County for me. The hawk watch started out with sunny skies and a light northeasterly wind. Here's a hawk that gave me a really nice look. We see a long tail and long wings with rounded tips. We see orange barring underneath indicating an adult, and we see a large head and a red eye. This is an adult Cooper's hawk. Here's a large, mostly dark raptor. We do see that it's getting a mostly white head, and it's a large head, and there's a lot of splotchy white underneath as well. This is an immature bald eagle. We had a total of 52 species, including a random wild turkey that walked across the road in front of me. I wasn't seeing much from the platform other than some birds really far in past the parkway, so around 12.30 I made the switch over to Frisbee Hill Park. I only had 18 species, with the bulk of the raptor migration being 15 turkey vultures, most of which came through in one group just as I arrived, so pretty slow after that. At 2 o'clock I moved back to the platform, and by then a layer of clouds had rolled in, I was able to pick up a few dozen turkey vultures as well as one migrating bald eagle before that cloud cover completely shut the flight down. Next, Kim and I took a nice walk through the owl woods. We had 30 species including some really nice looks at warblers towards the beginning of the trail. And we ended the day with a walk out the west spit. We had 36 species with nothing unusual, though a ruddy turnstone was later seen out on the barrier island. I had a total of 92 species for the day. New species for the season today were Scarlet Tanager and White-Eyed Vireo. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 67 turkey vultures, 3 bald eagles, 1 northern harrier, 3 sharp-shinned hawks, 10 broad-winged hawks, 1 red-tailed hawk, for a total of 85 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 6,591 and the season total to 59,194. Taking a look at the forecast, well, it's not looking too good for tomorrow. Cloudy with occasional rain showers, a high around 57, and light northeasterly winds. I would expect minimal migration and the count will probably be shortened. For Saturday, it's looking cloudy with periods of rain later, high around 60, winds starting out south but then quickly shifting to a northeast lake breeze, again only expect light migration, and for Sunday a shower or two in the morning and then partly cloudy with a high in the upper 50s and northerly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, so once again would only expect light migration. All right, today was another fun day of birding and also a day of changing weather, getting out early in the morning and going straight to the firehouse woods and the church trail. It was a beautiful, calm, sunny morning. The birds were really active, and we used that extra time to work our way really slowly through the church trail, covering it really thoroughly. Then there was the excitement of the quick run over to Badger Park to pick up that white-eyed vireo, which was singing very loudly, and I got one brief look at it, but I know some other observers got really good photos. It was a nice sunny start to the hawk watch, but unfortunately that northeast wind kept the raptors away from the lake shore and then throughout the afternoon with the cloud layer moving in shut the count down early. But that just gave us a chance to get some nice looks at birds over at the Owl Woods and the West Spit to end the day. 
And even with the upcoming weather being a bit crummy for the Hawk Watch, definitely still get out and look for warblers. It's peak time. There's a lot of them around and they're kind of stuck here the next few days because the weather's not favorable overnight for migration. So uh, definitely birds moving around and you never know what you're going to find as we come into mid-May. So I hope to see you out soon in the field or up on the platform. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.